Hi there, and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on carrying out a bivariate correlation analysis in SPSS. So without further ado, let me show you this SPSS file that I have open in front of me. I've gone ahead and created these two variables before I open this tutorial. I have height in inches and I have weight in pounds. And let's say that we're interested in determining whether there is a pattern here, a linear relationship such that increases in weight are associated with increases in height and conversely that lower height is associated with lower weight. How do we go about testing this relationship? In SPSS we use the analyze function down to correlate bivariate and I've already put these variables in for you but I'll move them back just so you can see how we do it. You can move them over one at a time or both at once. <clears throat> Since we're doing a Pearson correlation, we're going to leave Pearson checked here. Uh, we could also go to Kendall's Tower, Spearman. Um, we can do all of them at the same time because this tutorial is a Pearson correlation analysis. We will just stay with that for now. Um, I usually like to go over to options and I do like to highlight means and standard deviations so that we can get some descriptive statistics along with our analysis. Then I push continue and OK. Let me move this output here into the window for you. So here we start out with a pretty handy descriptive statistics table. We see that the mean inches here in the sample is about 70 and a standard deviation of 8 and uh, the mean weight here is 175 with a standard deviation of 60. This is what we're interested in here though, the Pearson correlation table. We see that there is a very strong and positive correlation between weight and height. Um, if you'll recall, a uh, value of 1 is the theoretical maximum for Pearson correlation. So we are uh, approaching 0.9 here, so that just goes to indicate what a strong correlation that is. We see that it is statistically significant at 0 0.001, and that tells us pretty much what we would need to go on um, were we to conduct a regression, um, which I have documented in another tutorial. For the purposes of this analysis, though, let's create a quick scatter plot just so that you can see the relationship between these variables. And in SPSS, it's, it's, it's very easy. It's a, it's a click, a point and click kind of a system here. You don't really have to worry so much about coding, certainly not at this level. So let's say that we want to put height here as our predictor if we want and weight here as a potential outcome. And click OK. And let me resize that window for you and you will see that we have produced a nifty little scatter plot over here and it seems to follow exactly what we thought it would which is that as height increases so does weight and again in a later tutorial in regression I'll show you how to plot a line of best fit and to do a whole lot of other stuff that we can do now that we know that there is a linear relationship between variables of this sort Anyway, I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you. Um, SPSS is a pretty simple to use program. Uh, here I just use point and click methods, no need really for, for coding at this level. Um, SPSS gets used a great deal by a lot of students, it's mandated by a lot of professors. Um, yet it's surprisingly under documented, I think, in terms of uh, having a one stop guide for all the various things that you can do. So I do suggest that you visit 272analytics.com for access to all our other tutorials, uh, not just in SPSS, but also in R, Stata, eViews, and Minitab. And I'd like you to keep in mind that we are consultants. We are eager to work on uh, quantitative. Um, academic work of any kind, methodologies, data analysis, interpretation, our specialty is taking your data, interpreting it, running it, working with it, and helping you understand it so that you can explain it, incorporate it in your thesis or dissertation. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.